It's time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Diego, your impact on the field, tremendous, but it's just as big off the field with the work that you do in the community. You're always, since you arrived, giving back and connecting with the people here in Portland has always been important to you. What do you enjoy most about it? I mean, I enjoy a lot of things, but uh, it's not too big. I mean, it's, it's nothing, to be honest, compared with the, the work that a lot of people does in this community. So, yeah, I enjoy to, to do it because they want to help, because they want to be involved. And uh, obviously with my family, with my wife and with my daughter, to show them, uh, to show him, her, sorry, uh, you know, the way we want to live. This year you got involved with a very special project during Stand Together Week with your friend Keith Palau, Embrace Oregon, and the Oregon Department of Human Services. What were you guys working on? We were working this year in the Thorns Room, and uh, we did it uh, last year in the Timbers Room in, in, in Hillsborough. Now this year it was in Beaverton, uh, and, and we really enjoyed it. I mean, we did it with some uh, Thorns uh, players and, and coach Mark, so, and a lot of people there, of course, and, uh, and Connie, my wife, and we, we really enjoyed it, and uh, we enjoyed the, the, like I say, you know, the spending time uh, to be involved. And when you say these rooms, what are those rooms used for, for people that don't know what you guys were doing? Uh, the, you know, the foster kids uh, spend time there uh, with uh, obviously other kids and uh, their, their parents. So it's a good time for them, you know, to, to be connected with obviously timbers, thorns, <laughs> right. games, and obviously his, their parents. So it's, uh, it's nice. So before you guys really Re renovated, decorated. It was pretty clinical looking, bare rooms, right? And now yeah. they're a place that's warm and kids would actually want to spend time. Yeah, that's a great idea from Keith. And, uh, uh, you know, he has a, a, an army behind. Uh, Literally an yeah, army. Yeah, it's an army. So, and it is nice. I mean, uh, I love the, the rooms and they look, you know, they, 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 gave, uh, they gave it color and, uh, and, and, and gave it a, a, an, an identity. And you mentioned that your wife, Florencia, and daughter Connie came to help. How did you explain to Connie what she was working on and, you know, giving back to kids that don't have as much as she does? Telling her the truth and uh, how the situation of a lot of families and a lot of kids, you know, and, uh, and how he, she can do to help. And that's, that's the way we, we tell her always the truth and uh, always being active, you know, for people who need so for people that don't know Keith that well, what do you like about the work he does and how can people help him in the future? I mean, he does a lot of work, uh, a lot of different works, but this case, it's uh, he's in, the de in this kind of details, you know, to be uh, very involved with these foster kids and, and loving, loving them, you know what I mean, which is the most important part of this. He, he's trying to give them the love that maybe they don't have. So that's the way he works. And then uh, they can help, you know, being in contact with, with him through Timbers. And uh, obviously there's a lot of things to do. So you will find a place to, to work. I remember you posted, I think it was on Instagram, the You Are Love scarf. And that um, is depicted in the mural in one of the rooms, right? And it was a buy one, give one scarf. Mm -hmm. Was that what it was? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, did that and uh, I think they got a raffle with that too and uh, they obviously always for the, se for the same cause, right? Uh, but uh, that scarf represents a lot what he does, which is, uh, you know, love kids. It's awesome. Well, the good news is Keith will be in Chicago with you for the All-Star Game because he was chosen as the Timbers Community MVP and people can still help him by going to, it is MLSWorksMVP.com. You can vote for Keith to mm -hmm. be the grand prize winner, which would give him $25,000 to continue his work. So vote, vote, vote until August 2nd. Diego, thank you so much for coming on Timbers and 30, and good luck this weekend in Houston. Thank you for the invitation.